Um, it has a slidey cover on the front that protects the buttons. All we do to program this remote is you, to start with, press and hold the top two buttons in together and keep them held down until the blue light starts to flash. Now this normally takes around about 10 seconds. This process is now clearing the memory on the remote. There you go, you see the blue light flashing. The memory is now clear. You can tell the memory is clear because if you press and hold any of the buttons in, the light will flash once and then just stay off. So to program the remote, you can program this to any 433 fixed code remote. I'm going to use a Kami 433 fixed code here. So to program it, all you do is press in whichever button you would like to use on the new cloning remote. So I'm going to program the top left, hold it in. While you've got it held in, just put your other working remote next to the cloning remote and press in whichever button operates your gates or door. And as you will see, the blue light starts to flash. And when you press that top left button, you'll see the blue light comes on to tell you that code's been copied. If you want to do a, an extra button, I'll now press and hold the top right button, press in the right hand side button on the Kami remote, and the blue light starts to flash to confirm programming's been complete.